Welcome to Let's All Cruise. My name is Scott, and today we're going to take a close look at the Discovery Princess, Princess's newest ship launched in 2022. She's the sixth and final Royal class ship, and like her five siblings, uh, shares the same cabin layouts. We stayed in a deluxe balcony cabin, so we're going to take a close look at that, but I'm going to compare it with the regular balcony cabins as well, as well as the premium deluxe. Well, here we are on deck 11, our Baja deck, uh, cabin 733. Uh, it's aft on the starboard side. That's the uh, open closet design that you'll be used to if you've sailed in Princess before. Very nice looking cabin, uh, very calming, uh, muted colors. So what is the difference between this room, the deluxe balcony, and a regular balcony? Well, it's 18 inches longer for the deluxe, and that's how they fit the sofa in. And you might be wondering, how do I know it's 18 inches longer? Because I took my measuring tape with me. So if we compare the two room diagrams side by side, these highlighted areas, that's the difference. So with the balcony, you just get a single chair. With the deluxe balcony, you get a chair and a sofa. So here's a quick look at the standard balcony cabin. There is no sofa. That's the difference. So we chose to pay a little bit extra for the deluxe balcony cabin for that sofa. It is a sofa bed, by the way, but we just wanted somewhere uh, inside that we could sit. You know, it depends what cruise you're on. If it's warm and in the Caribbean, you can probably use your balcony all the time. But if you're going to Alaska, uh, or even co uh, cruising down in Mexico, say in winter or spring, it's nice to be able to sit inside. But that said, we do love a balcony cabin, so let's take a clo closer look at this. And it is a small balcony. Um, it's uh, four feet deep, uh, nine feet wide, just like the cabin is. Now, one really nice thing you can do is if you are traveling with friends or family in an adjacent cabin, just ask your stateroom attendant and he will be able to open the doors that separate each balcony. One nice thing is that the chairs do recline uh, so you can get a little bit more comfy. I'm not sure that both uh, people could sit in the chairs at the same time and recline. I think that could get a little tight. Now in a second, we're going to see the premium deluxe balcony, uh, two decks down on deck nine. These rooms are identical to the uh, deluxe balcony, but they have these much, much deeper balconies with footstools attached. Well, we're back inside now. So let's take a closer look at the cabin uh, itself. We'll start here with the desk and the fridge underneath. Uh, we're going to take a look uh, here in this drawer, which uh, contains the hairdryer that's already plugged in. And uh, there's still plenty of room in that drawer to put all your charging cables and uh, other stuff you may want to store. The fridge is not stocked, um, but you can put things in it yourself or get things delivered through the app uh, to your room if you wish. You get this uh, very sturdy chair. There's a telephone there, of course. I don't know why they don't put these things in the wall to give you more space. That would be great. There's two American uh, plugs here and three uh, types of uh, European uh, outlets as well. Uh, shout out to Danny from Har Travel. Uh, this is a great travel tip. Take your European adapter with you. That way you can use all the outlets. I'm going to come back to the TV later, but it's awesome. It's 43 inches. The only thing it doesn't do is hinge out from the wall. So it is in a fixed position. Now you'll notice uh, when we looked at the outlets over there, there was no USBs, um, but there is uh, two in the cabin, one uh, at each side of the bed and the base of the lamp. There's no other outlets uh, next to the bed, but there are some behind the bed uh, just next to the floor. They're quite difficult to access, but uh, and they're European. So again, uh, handy to take an adapter with you. On each side of the bed, the nightstands have two drawers and a storage shelf. Um, so it's, it's great to be able to keep things tidied away. Uh, talking of which, Princess are still doing twice daily room service. Uh, your stateroom attendant will come in, uh, clean your room in the morning, and then in the evening, uh, while you're away at dinner, we'll do the turndown service, which I really like. The room is very comfortable. Um, the thermostat could be set really cold, um, so that seemed to work rather well. 
These three hooks are actually our own. Um, they're magnetic. If you want to get some for yourself, um, just take a look at the in the description. I'll link to those, but handy to be able to hang up uh, your medallion. Full length mirror here, which is great. And uh, this is the hook that comes with the cabin. Um, there's a couple more in the back of the bathroom door, but otherwise that's it. This great open closet is, is a really great idea. It's six feet wide. There's so much space here. Um, and next to it, uh, there's also this uh, cupboard with a bunch of shelves and a small safe. It's not going to take a laptop, but you can certainly get phones, Kindles, wallets, passports, things like that. So the balcony was really tiny and unfortunately the bathroom is really small uh, as well. Um, it's functional. It's, it works fine, but uh, I think partly because of the size, it has this shower curtain rather than a door. And that was one thing that I, I thought was a little bit disappointing. Princess does pride itself on being somewhat of a premium option. And uh, when I think premium, I don't think of uh, shower curtains. Sorry to say. But like I said, very functional bathroom. Um, it does have this washing line as well. Another premium touch I would like to have seen uh, in the bathroom is a nightlight, uh, but unfortunately it doesn't have that. Um, I will say though, the shower had amazing pressure, so that was that was very impressive. Best pressure I've ever seen on a cruise ship. They included soaps both at the sink and the shower are really nice, so you don't need to take your own. And there's a decent amount of storage, a big shelf underneath and a few shelves on the wall. There's also the shaver outlet too. Well, I mentioned earlier, I was really impressed by the 43 inch TV and the interactive system is really great. You can do things like looking up your room account, you can book dining, you can uh, see, see what's happening on the ship every day. There's the update from the cruise director. And uh, these are the live channels that you can tune into. So a bunch of news, a bunch of sport. Um, you can also get a 24 seven feed of the bridge cam, which is pretty cool. Um, and you know, there's uh, built in uh, streaming, uh, movies, lots of different categories, tons of choice here, uh, which is nice. I don't personally go on a cruise to watch a film, but you know, if you want to have a quiet night in and watch a film, you can do that. There's lots of TV shows as well. And uh, there's even music channels that you can stream as well. Another cool thing about Princess is that on every deck, there's a laundromat. It costs a few dollars per wash, and uh, they have everything you need here. So detergent, dryer sheets, and so on. You know, laundry service uh, on ships is expensive. So especially for no longer cruise, when you can actually do it yourself, that's really cool. And of course, there's an iron and an ironing board. Leaving on uh, Discovery Princess from Los Angeles was a lot of fun. We got to watch the beautiful celebrity Solstice leave. And I actually sailed on her sister ship just a few months ago. So. If you want to understand how Princess, a premium cruise line, compares to Celebrity, another premium cruise line, check out the video linked here.